make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. This anthem is sung by young men preparing for the pastoral ministry at the English Language Seminary at Leh, Papua New Guinea. It is the familiar spiritual, Go Tell It on the Mountain. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Reverend Gabriel Brito and his wife, Josefa, from San Antonio de Matarin, Venezuela, sing the Spanish version of the great religious song, How Great Thou Art. Señor mi Dios, al contemplar los cielos, el firmamento y las estrellas mi al oír tu voz en los potentes truenos y ver brillar al sol en su cernir, mi corazón se llena de emoción, cuán grande es él, cuán grande es él, mi corazón Al escuchar el canto de la ave y el murmurar de claro manantial, mi corazón se llena de emoción. Cuán grande es él, cuán grande es él, mi corazón se llena de emoción. Cuán grande es él, cuán grande es él. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. From West Africa, the adult choir of Resurrection Lutheran Church, Lagos, Nigeria, singing in the Efik language, Hosanna, prayer to the Lord.
Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. The Holy Hope Lutheran School Choir, Urawa, Japan, sings two familiar hymns, My Faith Looks Up to Thee and Beautiful Savior. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. The celebrate singers of Concordia College, Seward, Nebraska, sing a contemporary version of the hymn, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. These singers represent over 7,000 young men and women who are preparing for professional church work in the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, at 15 colleges and seminaries in the United States and Canada. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. A group of young adults from Trivandrum, Kerala State, South India, communicate the gospel using the Indian forms of song, dance, drama, and instrumental music. The group is called the Lutheran Arts Club 
and they perform in the evenings, on weekends, and during vacations in many Indian villages and cities to groups of hundreds and even thousands. This song is titled, The Ruler of the Earth, and tells of Christ's second coming. Let us prepare for his coming. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. From the city of Campo Grande, the state of Mato Grosso, Brazil, a solo by Mr. Wilson Collaire, an active young layman who composed this song titled, Let's Proclaim the Word. As you listen carefully to the Portuguese, you'll hear the words Lutoranos and Proclamad. It's a musical challenge for your church and you to proclaim God's word to all the world. Mr. Colera accompanies himself on the guitar. Vinde, ó servas luteranas, vamos trabalhar na obra do Senhor. E para começar, sua bênção proclamar, iluminando-nos de amor. E para começar, sua bênção proclamar, iluminando-nos de amor. Vamos, pois, cantar mais um hino seu, mais perto quero estar do verdadeiro Deus. Vamos, pois, cantar e cantaremos bem a paz que só em Deus tem, reunindo nossas mentes. Vamos estudar a sua lei. Guia minha estrada, a sublime morada, na qual eterno gozo acharei. Que guia minha estrada, a sublime morada, na qual eterno gozo acharei. Vamos, pois, cantar mais um hino seu, mais perto quero estar do verdadeiro Deus. Vamos, pois, cantar e cantaremos bem a paz que só em Deus tem, a paz que só em Deus tem. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Those words from Psalm 100 will be the special theme for the service next Sunday. You will have the opportunity to hear, by means of a specially prepared recording, segments from worship services in different parts of the world. Here is a short sample of what you will hear. This epic language choir from West Africa sings the anthem, Hosanna, praise to the Lord. Other choirs and soloists from South America, Papua New Guinea, Japan, and other places perform on this special recording. Also next Sunday, some parts of the regular order of worship will come from overseas congregations. Church bells, invocations, hymns, prayers, and even a baptism. Why is this being done? It's a way of reminding all of you that your church is busy proclaiming the gospel in many lands and many languages, every day, all around the world. Thanks to you, your pastor, and your congregation for the interest, prayers, and financial support you've given to make it possible for God's word and work to be carried out worldwide through the ministries of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. The Synod cooperates with a dozen partner churches overseas in this worldwide mission. 
the Synod supports over 150 overseas missionaries in 34 countries. There are 12 overseas seminaries. A new mission field has recently been opened in the West African country of Liberia. Here in North America, the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod has over 6,000 affiliated congregations, nearly 3 million members. Fifteen colleges and seminaries train professional workers for the church. Also, ministries of Christian education, medical work, evangelism, social ministry, television, theological studies, pensions for retired workers, to name just a few. The annual budget of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod is over $28 million. Added to this, the 38 districts of North America spend an equal amount in their geographical areas. Each year, every member of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod is given an opportunity to bring an extra special offering for the work of the Synod. That's why you've received, or will receive, a special offering envelope. This offering, along with what you are already doing, will help Synod meet its program plans for this year. Your gifts will make possible mission and ministry here at home and in lands around the world. Bring your special offering next Sunday. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And come and hear worship and anthems from your fellow Lutherans in churches in many parts of the world. I know you will enjoy it. See you next Sunday. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Those words from Psalm 100 set the tone for our worship service today. In the service this morning, we are going to hear fellow Christians in various lands around the world making a joyful noise unto the Lord. About 12 hours ago, your fellow Christians in the Philippines gathered for morning worship. One of those congregations is the Savior Lutheran Church, Bayang, island of Cebu. Worshippers are called to this church by the ringing of an old shell casing suspended between two strong posts. Listen to the beauty of this converted weapon of war as it calls people to worship. And about six hours ago in another land, this time Ghana, West Africa, Christians at a mission station at Sofakram are called to worship by the clanging of two pieces of metal. It is time for worship also now in your church. Join in the singing of the first hymn. Christian worship all over the world has begun with the invocation, asking God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to be present with us and to bless our worship. This morning we will hear two invocations, one of them from the country of El Salvador. En el nombre del Padre y del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. And from the country of Nigeria, this invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Continue now with your regular order of worship. The collect for this morning will be read by Dr. J. A. O. Preuss, President of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. O oh Lord, we beseech you, help us to make a joyful noise unto you and to join our voices and hands together with our brothers and sisters in other lands to bring your saving gospel to all people. Lead us to the joy of sharing and giving for the cause of mission and ministry here at home and around the world. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. The book of Acts tells us that every day the Lord adds to his church such as should be saved. We want you to listen to the baptism of a baby by the name of Isaldinu Zeidler. This baptism took place in Brazil 
the city of Kakoal. The words are familiar. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Listen to the water and the word. Isaldino Zeidler, eu te batizo em nome do Pai, e do Filho, e do Espírito Santo. Amém. O Onipotente Deus, Pai de nosso Senhor Jesus Cristo, que te regenerou pela água e pelo Espírito Santo, e te perdoou todos os teus pecados, te fortaleça com a sua graça para a vida eterna. Paz seja contigo. Amém. Do you remember the day of your confirmation? God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, grant you his spirit, the spirit of wisdom. Listen now as Cristina Lima receives her confirmation blessing spoken in Portuguese by her pastor. Cristina lives in the country of Brazil. Cristina Solanger Ferreira Lima. Deus, o Pai de nosso Senhor Jesus Cristo, te conceda o seu Espírito Santo, o Espírito de sabedoria e conhecimento, de graça e de súplica, de conselho e fortaleza, de santificação e temor de Deus. Tu, porém, permanece naquilo que aprendeste. Segundo Timóteo 3, 14. The next hymn is sung by the Lutheran Hour Choir of Beirut, Lebanon. The language is Arabic. It is hymn number 246, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. The choir will sing only the first two verses. Your congregation is asked to sing the last two verses. Your organist will accompany you. Hymn number 246. The offering prayer will be given by Reverend O.A.U. Idiang, President of the Lutheran Church of Nigeria. Your pastor will continue with the prayers of the congregation. Dear Heavenly Father, help all of your children in Africa, North America, and in all the world to be thankful for your many blessings, blessings of health, family and friends, and especially for the blessing of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. We thank you for making us a part of your church and for having a part in your work. Help us to share our lives with you and with others. Bless also these offerings we bring to you. Bless them so that your word and work will spread in this land and in all the world. Send your Holy Spirit so that we may grow in faith, in love, in forgiveness to one another, and in the sharing of your blessings with brothers and sisters everywhere. 
we ask this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Let us bow our heads as we listen to a Korean brother pray the Lord's Prayer in his language. <laughs> Amen. The closing benedictions come from three continents. First, Europe from Lisbon, Portugal, in Portuguese. O Senhor te abençoe e te guarde. O Senhor faça resplandecer o seu rosto sobre ti e tenha misericórdia de ti. O Senhor sobre ti levante o seu rosto e te dê a paz. Next, from Nigeria, Africa. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And last, from Argentina, South America, in Spanish. El Señor os bendiga y os guarde. El Señor haga resplandecer su rostro sobre vosotros y tenga compasión de vosotros. El Señor alce su rostro sobre vosotros y os conceda la paz. Our closing hymn is number 666. Turn to it, please. This is Psalm 100, set to music. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. That is what we've done in this service. We have joined with fellow Christians from many lands to sing His praises. What a great work God has done in bringing people from every corner of His world to be part of His family, the Church. Let's sing His praises once more as we join in hymn number 666. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, come before His presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth through all generations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world.